All right, check it out, check it out. This is Coach Ray from Year Sports. We're here with NFL star with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Philadelphia's own Dave Williams. Uh, we out here with your homeboys, Janu Smith's 707 uh, tournament for 7th, 8th graders. Uh, you out there helping out the kids and all that. Let's talk about it. What you see? How was your experience? Uh, it was amazing. Uh, one day we was just chilling on the couch, uh, and he came to me like, yeah, let's do something for the uh, kids and bring the community together and make an impact on these kids. And uh, we came up with the idea to do a 707. So we went forward with it, and it, it was a huge success. It, uh, it was an amazing turnout. F fans, people, friends and family came out to support. I, I love the support from the family members of, of the kids that was out there playing 707. Whenever we could do something like this, it's always amazing. Yep, definitely, definitely was a nice event that you guys had going on today. Uh, a lot of these young guys got a chance to see, you know, live in the flesh with NFL players and get coached up by them and all that. Uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago, you were probably in their shoes. Uh, growing up, uh, let's let's talk about your uh, early football experience. Who 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 were the teams that you played with growing up? Well, in low league, I played for the Aztecs, the North Philly Aztecs, and I also played for Officer Circle Raiders. Uh, I finished all with the Officer Circle Raiders. Uh, it was just a great experience, like little kids. Growing up, uh, having the opportunity to meet people, uh, meet people that that came from where they came from, and and seeing where they made it to. Because uh, growing up, I didn't have people that came from where I came from, so I couldn't really relate. You just see people that have come talk to you from other states and other towns and cities that may play for the Eagles or whatever. But it ain't the same. I feel like this touch different because we come specifically where they come from, and, and they and they see that they can make it happen with hard work and dedication. Definitely, for sure, for sure. And then you went up to. Uh one of Philadelphia's up-and-coming powerhouses, Emotep. Let, let's speak on that. Let's just speak on Emotep and, 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 and you know, the type of uh, legacy that they're, they're setting and the precedence they're setting with the city in regards to, you know, all sports, but in particular football. Yeah, it's amazing because uh, when I came there, uh, Emotep was on a, on, on a, down, on a downfall, uh, and I came there, I helped turn the program around, and, and they took the blueprint and, and turned up ever since, and, and I'm, I'm proud to be an uh, Emotep alumni coming back to see the success they have in with state championships and constant playoff uh, contender runs uh, is, is amazing. Yeah, and they got a bunch of D1 players uh, every year uh, going up to different schools and all that. Um, were you one of the first MOTEP football players to make it to the NFL? Uh, yes. You were? I then, was. So DJ second, DJ yeah. Moore second? Yeah. Me okay. and DJ, I'm, I'm uh, a year older than DJ. Okay. But me and DJ was in the same uh, draft class. class so. Okay. Okay. So that's what's up. That's what's up. So MOTEP had two guys come out the same, same, same draft, draft class. Okay. Draft draft. How was your uh, so that means you was a rookie? Yeah, I you was just a finished the rookie season. Okay, let's explain that. How, how was that? You know, uh, it was amazing just to be able to get paid and and just do what you what you dreamed about the, your whole life and, and you worked so hard to get to. And when you finally get there, you feel like it paid off, but you just can't be comfortable. Uh, but my rookie year, it, it went good. Uh, I, I met some amazing people. I got drafted. Uh, just to be able to experience that type of experience coming from where I come from it was, it was great uh, it was a long rookie season but I'm prepared and, and I'm bettering myself for next season this upcoming season that's what's up that's what's up uh, a lot of a lot of youth athletes follow my channel right mm -hmm. and you just spoke on you know preparing yourself for, for next season mm -hmm. what are some of the tips would you give some of these um, young athletes on how to prepare you know as a professional what do professionals do to prepare you just got to be able to take criticism and take it and run with it and be able to fix your crap uh, somebody telling you coach getting on you about something that you just keep doing over and over you got to work on that habit of making it right so it becomes second nature uh it's just it's just a, a lot of hard work and you got to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and evaluate yourself and not just think you're not doing nothing wrong so you can get better describe that experience or that feeling you felt when your name was called oh it was amazing uh my heart my heart dropped actually because it was like it felt like the draft take forever when you when you're going through the process but it eventually paid off, uh, and I felt amazing. You couldn't tell me nothing that day. <laughs> was going to the NFL, was that always your dream? Yeah, that was always my dream. Uh, I always had a dream of going playing Division One football, and then when I checked that off, my goal was to be an NFL player. But I always knew in the back of my head I wanted to be in the NFL. Not every athlete growing up playing Little League, high school, and even college get to make it to the NFL. What separated you to make to be one of the top of the top, to, to you know the elite of the elite? Just to be, I, I, I think I credit myself on just not never giving up and just always working hard, even when my situation, not the best situation, making the best out of my situation, not not folding or getting depressed or getting down on myself or or just letting letting go. Uh, I just keep fighting through it, and, and the rainbow will always shine on the other side. You just got to keep fighting through. You never know when that time going to come. You're going to go through adversity, a lot of 
bad adversity situations, but you just got to take it in and keep fighting. All right, cool, cool. Hey, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your words and your wisdom. This is Coach Ray signing out.